Hello, I'm Daria and today we're going to talk about the most common mistakes Amazon and non sellers make. The first one is actually taking too long to uh, start because you think oh maybe it's not the time maybe you can do it after and I can see like so many people so many friends of mine they postpone and postpone and postpone this thing until actually they uh, literally have like some major life changes or they have you know like uh, different work or like family situation so they actually don't gonna get back to this idea which actually uh, can be benefit them a lot the next thing is actually the product search uh, maybe a lot of people they underestimate this thing and they don't want to pay for the tools they don't want to actually think that it's like they can find the products uh, by their intuition or using just you know like scrolling endlessly the Amazon and uh, known pages but the issue is there are so many aspects on productive product search and even for us when we do in their reports of our clients where we do the product search uh, we take usually uh, two weeks to prepare that kind of report because it literally takes a lot of work a lot of efforts even you have the tool and even you are like actually professional so i really believe that the beginners can like spend a month on proper product search and calculating the right unit economy and making the right PL for their business. The next thing is actually underestimation their complexity of creating the product. Uh, a lot of people think they buy something in China, they do the arbitrage, they put the logo on top and it's gonna be like basically it. But there are so many ex aspects of that, for example, why people want to buy it and what value you provide uh, to your customers and actually understanding how the products should be appealing uh, in terms of, for example, packaging and uh, logistics and etc. Uh, etc. Et and also it comes to the next thing is calculation, the unit economy. So you not only need to find the good products with the good price in the good uh, phase of its development of the trend uh, because most products have still have a trend but you also you need to calculate uh, how much it costs to provide the good product uh, to the customer and uh, understand that everything including the your marketing and advertisement expense actually are included in to this formula in business you're doing are going to be profitable uh, which is very very important the next thing is actually connected to a few simple things. Time on their production of the product. Most of their manufacturers, they do they drop okay, uh, I mean, in terms of timing, but sometimes it could be very tricky and you don't gonna be able to get your products on time and it's gonna take longer time. So this is uh, should be definitely the, the consideration. Uh, the next thing is actually understanding how much a logistic cost and how quickly you can get your products and what what is the best thing is actually to get this product in let's say uh, less days by the higher price or in like longer time by the uh, lower cost. This is like actually major thing and also uh, understanding how much inventory you need to launch and how much inventory you need to basically sell uh, in the first months and w like when your uh, next shipment gonna come. So their calculation of the shipments uh, and the units uh, you need to sell it's uh, very very important because in the Amazon uh, we have one rule you don't run out of stock because if you run out of stock uh, your ranking is goes down very very dramatically the next thing is actually not understanding the SEO uh, strategies for the Amazon and noon because they are quite different and essentially the Amazon and noon is the search engine for different products and like basically nowadays 60% of people they will want to buy something they're not going to search it on Google they actually go search it on marketplaces first because they very get used to get deliveries from noon on a daily basis buy some stuff on Amazon so they uh, definitely gonna check it first so you need to understand how people actually gonna find your products and 
do the proper listing. Uh, listing in the proper category using SEO optimized uh, description titles uh, and all the content which uh, helps you to get the more organic sales. And uh, in Sales Screen IO they have the tool uh, which helps you to create their description using AI. So you basically you can use our tool and you don't need to worry anymore for how to create your descriptions. And the last thing is actually understanding their share of the advertisement expenses uh, in the total budget and also uh, controlling this thing. I know this is very hard to analyze uh, and it's uh, literally very, uh, very, very professional people actually can know and even they sometimes don't know how it's gonna be in terms of the advertisement spending for your products but the good thing for this particular market uh, is that to get less competition in terms of reviews there are less competition in terms of getting uh, to the top of the uh, first page for many many niches so i guess you you need to consider this thing uh, while the product search so i know i sounds very uh, strange but uh, literally everything comes to the right product uh, if you have right product to sell at right price at right channel and you know how people actually look for that kind of product. You can make that kind of business in the Amazon UAE and Amazon FBA. It is hard work, totally agree with you, but it's really, really worth it. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope this video was helpful for you and please put the thumbs up and click to subscribe to other channels so we can uh, provide you with more uh, valuable videos and also uh, subscribe to Sales Screen.io so you can do proper product search. Thank you a lot, have a great sales.